Hi guys, Kenny Martin here for another 5 minute photo trip in the Talking Pictures series. It's great to be back and I'm delighted to be talking about one of my favourite subjects which is uh, street photography. It's the thing that uh, I use really as my photographic hobby outside my photographic business. Uh, nothing I like better than uh, getting around the streets and, uh, and, and taking my different styles of street photography. I mean I use three styles really, I do shooting from the hip which this one is. I do my observational style which is generally shot on like a long lens and I'm looking for graphics and details and I do my street portraits which um, is literally stopping people in the street, complete strangers and asking if I can take their um, picture. So um, that's a very interesting, that's a very interesting one. Um, so the picture we're going to be looking at today is uh, called uh, Midsummer Festival Sheleftio and um, the story behind this picture is this. Uh, it was shot on a business mentoring trip um, to one of my uh, TCMP studios up in northern Sweden and on the downtime uh, we visited the festival for Midsummer and obviously up near the Arctic Circle uh, Midsummer is a phenomenally important festival um, celebrating you know getting that light back and, and midsummer is a strange time in Sweden being northern Sweden um, because of course you've got 24 hour sunlight and that takes that takes a hell of a lot of getting used to it really does um, so this is a shooting from the hip uh, picture which basically means that I'm walking around with my camera and I'm just shooting random pictures to try and get something kind of special. Um, this particular picture, uh, the technique used um, is that I uh, set a high ISO, so I'm 1600, 2500, whatever the ISO may be. Because in this type of shot, to be honest with you, the picture is way more important than the pixels so um, I want to make sure that I can get a fast shutter speed and I also want to combine that with a um, small aperture getting more in focus now combine that again with an 18 millimeter lens which this is uh, and you're starting to get some incredible depth of field in the picture and so that's the, the, the technique uh, how I take my meter readings dead simple I just turn the camera down pick a piece of mid-tone um, grey on the road, set my camera to that and then I shoot with that set to manual, I shoot with that setting all the, all the way through until the light changes and then I'll recalibrate uh, my aperture and shutter speed and set it back to manual again. And uh, if you're set to aperture priority for instance, um, you could be getting all sorts of random exposures all over the place because if you get a bright piece of sky, the camera is going to get fooled. If you get a, a black building, behind the, the camera is going to get filled. So this is a much more consistent way really of, uh, of uh, dealing with uh, getting a more consistent style of, uh, of, of image. Um, so I always set with raw, uh, shoot with raw. Uh, I always shoot with JPEG as well and that allows me to on the camera uh, set uh, black and white um, so that I can actually see what I'm getting on the back of the, the camera. It's uh, set to a uh, 16 by 9 format which I love because it's very very cinematic and it just gives you this really dramatic look to the picture. Now um, shooting with 18 millimeter as I say with the uh, uh, with the camera settings just gives a huge amount in focus and so you don't miss many shots and as you can see with this the focus is absolutely enormous and when I've got that around my neck and I'm just you know snapping away I might, I might be looking off and, and taking a picture here and taking a picture there um, and it's a dangerous op occupation because it's quite easy for you to somebody to clock you and so you have to wear a, a pair of trainers so that you can run off very very quickly a very important point however when people shoot the streets they forget about the light the light is absolutely fundamentally important and you know 
uh, great images are created by great light and there's no point in taking street photographs if you are so consumed in getting that particular picture that you entirely forget about the light so I'm always looking for where, the, where is the light best and how can I persist my, position myself best in this scene to make sure I get this light so for instance I'm not going, if the light's coming from this direction I'm not going to be in a doorway or, or a corridor walking along so that I'm getting everything in shadow I'm going to be walking on the outside of the road so that I'm actually getting the light on their faces and that's a really fundamentally important point and it's one that many photographers entirely forget about so please don't forget about the light so Midsummer Festival of Shaleftio photographed in a little Fuji uh, X Pro 1 an 18mm fixed lens uh, high ISO, so I got lots and lots of depth of field, high shutter speed as well. Uh, all my images shooting from the hip are in black and white. And remember, 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 don't forget about the light, it's absolutely crucial. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that five minute photo tip from Kenny. Uh, that's number four in the series. I'm really enjoying myself now, I'm getting into the flow of things. Um, if you want to look at more of my work, there's a street gallery in fact on there, uh, kennethmartinphotography.com. Uh, if you want to have a look at my training site where all these other videos are going to be kept, that's thestudiodoctor.co.uk. And if you want to contact me by email, please do so on info at uh, kennethmartinphotography.com. Really enjoyed that one guys, um, I hope you did, hope you got some tips out of that. And join me next time and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.